when science in the future possibly be able to overcome death, humans and maybe animals will live by a limit of time or undefined time. And to this, I think biology and medicine or medicine will be able to overcome two major subjects of that that has to do with aging and that is oxidation of our bodies and also the fragmentation of DNA that uh, that compose and make the cells of our body and uh, with the and not only this I think in the future our science um, will possibly I don't know if will be biology or physic biology um, with nanotechnology will be able possibly with this technology from repairing our brain and and live for a limit of time. Not only this, we'll be able to improve our bodies and make such device that will be able us from for instance for flying for 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 doing unbelievable things um, through the reality and of course and through the time space time and with this set with this kind of unlimited experience of space-time of humans and maybe possibly animals and also with the science still to come we'll be able to I think we will find I think we already find the answer of that is we how we our life uh, have, have come to life from minerals and from the atoms of that is on this uh, the visible universe and with this new information or this knowledge this scientific, scientifically scientific knowledge of knowing um, where in fact and prove that in fact the life has come from atoms and develop to a cell to a multi cell then to monkeys then to humans and other forms of life that is in this planet and possibly in many many places on this universe I wonder how religion will then have importance in the um, people's life how our religion have how what rule we have on people because if you're not science and if you know where you're coming from what you really need religion for or mythology mythology is, is about stats and thinking about that what is that it's the ending of of chemistry or biologic process that happen in the body and we're living and when